Hi, my name is Kate and I'm a professional artist specializing in creating hand-drawn visualizations for design projects. I will share with you two-step technique for crafting beautiful and precise hand-drawn visualizations for your projects. Watch until the end to discover a unique and intrigue technique for crafting hand-drawn visualizations. For several years, I've been helping designers in visualizing their ideas through artistic renderings. I also teach how to make visualizations attractive and turn design projects into successful and engaging creations. In my work, I rely on two applications, Lifelong 3D Pro and Procreate. In these applications, I have created numerous visualizations, including children's rooms, kitchens, living spaces, interiors for hotel rooms, exteriors, and even sketches for scenes in movies and TV shows. I highlight the importance of understanding perspective, but with the digital tools and devices, creating visualizations has become faster, more precise and beautiful. I teach this approach in my courses, and many students have successfully applied it. You don't need to spend time learning complex 3D modeling programs, waiting for hours for computer renderings, and going through multiply iterations for edits. You only need your tablet, and you can work whenever you want, and furthermore, the cost of these applications is very affordable. My method is based on using layout with a perspective view from a 3D program, which significantly speed up the process of creating artistic renders and drawing in perspective. Using Lifeform 3D Pro application, I create a 3D model of the room. This can be done in 15 minutes. I raise the walls, set ceiling heights, and fill the space with interior items of specified dimensions using the built-in library. You can also enrich the 3D model with your own design elements created from building blocks. Modeling happens very quickly. Additionally, if needed, you can enrich your model with the textures, preview the atmosphere and design of the future space at the concept stage, and verify all dimensions. Using the option of viewing a 2D floor plan, it's possible to showcase the future blueprint to the client, discuss the arrangements of items, and finalize the design decision at this stage or make adjustments. Moreover, in the application, you can quickly switch between 2D and 3D floor plans for a better understanding of the arrangements of items in space and to showcase to the client. You can quickly prepare a mood board in the Procreate app in 10-20 minutes, which will be a part of your project presentation. To create an illustration, I select the optimal perspective view in Live Home 3D. I adjust camera positions and export the 3D view in JPG format for future work in Procreate. This is done very quickly, literally in 3 minutes. In the next step, I import the image into the Procreate app and begin refining the details of the sketch. Your render is almost ready. All that's left is to add color and volume. To speed up the process, I use photos and brushes that help in creating beautiful textures. But it's important there are interesting techniques on how to showcase your photos correctly and seamlessly enter the sketch for a beautiful and organic look. We fill the sketch with color, add captivating effects through light and shadow, and your project visualization gains your individual style, helping to better present your design project presentation. Of course, to beautifully depict light and shadows, one needs to master the technique of working with layers modes. And in my lessons, I explain how to do this efficiently and correctly. Ready to take your Procreate and 3D modeling skills to the next level? Enroll my online courses and let's explore together the techniques and tools for creating stunning and beautiful interior illustrations. Let's bring your ideas to life together. Let's do a small practice and create a 3D model together in the free version of Live Home 3D. You can find and install this application from the App Store. Then open the application and click on the plus sign. You can check out existing project in the application. But now we will be creating our own. Let's choose the house scale format. Our project will start with building walls. To add them, click on the plus sign in the right panel and choose the room option. 
Then, using the stylus without lifting it from the screen, I outline the room walls. In the application, you can change the units of measurements in the settings. At this stage, you can use your default settings. It's also possible to add automatic dimensions to the plan and adjust them for your project. Next, using the built-in library, let's add a door. The library menu opens in the left and I select the doors folder. I use this type of the door, which I want to use in my project. It's also possible to rotate the door to the position you need. I switch maintain aspect ratio off and adjust the width of the door. It's important, if maintain aspect ratio on, the dimensions change proportionally. Next, let's add a sofa. I use the search field to find the model of the sofa I like. I select this sofa and with my stylus I place it to the floor plan and rotate it. I want to make the room size larger and it's easy to do by grabbing one of the walls with the stylus and moving it to the desired position. Next, I click on the sofa and select the menu copy and then click in the room and choose in the menu paste. Now I have two sofas in the room. Next, let's find a table in the library. I select this one. I place it here on the floor plan and rotate it. I feel I need more space for the table and I adjust position for the sofas. Next, let's find chairs for the table in the library. And I add six chairs to my project. You can simply adjust the position of each object. I really like that this app has access to a free library of 3D objects. To download an object, go to the menu Import, select Trimble 3D Warehouse, then log in to the library and use the search to find objects for your design project. In the library, you can find many ready-made objects. Additionally, if you already have an object, you can easily import it into this app. On the app's website or in my course, you will find information about the file formats that work in this program. I'm going to add to my project this coffee table. I click on the button Download and now I'm waiting for some time while this 3D object will be downloaded to my project. Ready, and I place it on the position I like. Let's switch to 3D view. Look, we have this object here and also additional image. I tap on this object and in the menu I select Ungroup and then delete this image. Next, let's try to apply different materials to this object. I switch to the materials library and select the materials, the texture I would like to apply to this coffee table. I'd like to mention that this application also allows users to incorporate and apply their own textures, providing flexibility in creating design concepts. Next in the video, I fill the design concept by adding additional objects from the object library and changing the colors and textures of items. I invite you to join this creative process and create your design of this room. I complete the design with my own objects created from building block and now I have such an interior. I suggest you explore the tools of this application as it's very flexible and allows for easy and fast creation of design project concepts. You can share your creation with me or leave any questions. To export the view of your project, switch to the 3D view and set the camera position according to your preference. Then go to the menu Export, Share, and you can set the same settings as me and click Share. And then your image will be saved in your photo gallery and you can find it there. To delve deeper into the world of 3D modeling and artistic sketching, I invite you to join my trainings, which will help you quickly master all the techniques of working in these applications.